Hi there, my name is Kendrick, and today I get to interview Kevin. So Kevin, welcome, man. Thanks, Kendrick. Appreciate it. Uh, Kevin, can you tell us your full type, please? Yes. So you're T-I-S-E. There you go. And he's a um, consume, play, blast, sleep. Did you get uh, all that? I did. I did. All yes. right. uh, MF. MF, right. Yeah. Well, that's why you guys are together because of the opposite. <laughs> um, Probably true. Yeah. Um, so what did you think? How did you feel when you got your results back? Well, it's always exciting. Uh, I know because I've seen now David Chan at the videos with, with the Miss Beautiful here. And uh, it's it's kind of funny as I told Ashley, the funniest part is like she was ready like on the day it was like June 2nd. Okay. Like she had that baby marked, you know, with that we were going to be receiving that. And then she already had it ready before I even got it on my email on my phone. So she was checking through. I know she was checking throughout the day, checking out that thing. And then when I came back, I'm like, oh, honey, this is going to be awesome. Now we get a chance to break this down and uh, kind of go over this stuff. And I know I, I say it all in, like, fun, in a fun way, but Ashley does like it just as a way to like connect on like personality items and how we can like get better at stuff and keep improving. So it's, it is really fun to kind of have like that officially there now off camera as people know we were just talking a little bit about meeting dave and shan they just seem like good personalities and stuff like that too so i think they they do what's kind of you know like a really academic type topic or something like that but they make it really fun and i think that's where a lot of their success is so i i've enjoyed watching some of their videos and just i actually enjoy like how they break down things and they can they laugh together at some of that i think that's pretty cool so having them having them do that and like i said also as well i had a follow-up email with shan and she responded to that too which is kind of cool because a lot of people you know it's hard they're getting that stuff from all over the place with different people so that was really that was really fun too so they're legit how did you um are you into the personality stuff or did ashley drag you into the person well, knows 100 i don't even want to try to sound remotely smart on this particular topic ashley is 100 percent in on the personalities and i just listen to ashley as every good husband should do and then you just call and you're like okay honey i am gonna process this a little bit yeah. and then i am gonna learn from you and you're gonna teach me something new today and that's what she does when it's come to the personality side she's really uh talked a lot about that stuff but she comes at it from a good place because like ashley's like heart has always been like hey if we connect better on some of these personality items, it'll just kind of make our communication better within our marriage relationship too. So that's the cool part, Kendrick, I would say is that Ashley does kind of act as a filter on there for me. Like, Hey, what does all this mean? Oh, this is what this is. Oh, I didn't see that coming. You know, like she really should have like a little whiteboard and a chart and breaking this down for me. But it, uh, it's really fun to see where it's like, okay, this is where she, uh, thinks I've kind of, uh, the personality breakdown, I guess should be the way to put it. It's been like, okay, this is some of the things we're going to work on together. We're going to come up with a plan and we're going to do this. And I like it. So it's like, all right, this is good stuff. Identifying weaknesses and how to get better at some of them too is really, it's really like an intro, intro perspective item where you're thinking about some of the things you need to work on yourself. So. All right. Uh, you said that you're going to go and process it later. Your sleep will last. Like Ashley, you guys are both um, sleep last. Um uh, that means uh, processing things is going to be your most challenging thing to do. Uh, can you talk about like the challenges of like setting aside time for yourself to like just think things through? And Oh yeah, no, that's a good point. Uh, I'd say without listening to something on your, that's phone. true. Like you said, I guess you're right. A lot of times when I'm doing like, yeah, day to day, I call them the day-to-day -day grind items. Like everyone's <laughs> at some point you got to do laundry and you got to do dishes and you got to go to your job and you got to do these things that are just, things you're knocking out, mowing the lawn. We, we've got a bunch of crap going on too with our house. We had some storms roll through here. Just those type of things is Ashley's right. A lot of times I'm just putting on stuff that's like, okay, how do I, uh, like you said, get through these items as fast as I can while trying to gain something in there. That's what uh, I probably should do a better job. Maybe being a little more quiet and thinking about some of that. Do sometimes. you ever? I, you're right. So I shouldn't say, I don't always do that every time. Like there's times, like you said, you're right. You kind of reflect on that stuff, whether you're like doing like, Hey, I'm going to sit down and reflect on this right now. No, I don't probably do that as well as I should. <laughs> like if you saw me just like kids new, just dad's got to do some reflection time. It's like, nope, it's probably not like he my hacks, strength. He hacks into play just like I do. I do. So it's kind of like in fairness, Kendrick, you're right. I should dialogue. do that to analyze mm -hmm. that a little bit more, but 
you're right. At the end of the day, I'm, I probably think about some of that stuff, but I don't, like you said, set aside actual f- time. Like this is what I got to do to make that happen. I just kind of, all right, well, we yeah, got, like, got an hour dishes up. My, uh, my phone's dead. Guess I'm going to be thinking to myself tonight. You like, know what I mean? But like so, if there's yeah. something serious though, you need to process. Yeah. That's How true. do you usually do it? Mm, that's true. I, she's right. I'll, I probably need to process it a little bit later once we put the kids down to sleep. So I will do that from time to time. She tries to get the, like, we try to get like the kids around to bed around nine o'clock and it just depends on busy and wore out I am from the day. Sometimes I can process that from maybe like nine 30 to 11 sometimes, you know, just because I, I tend to be able to stay up a little bit later, but the reason I, other reason I do that too, is when your kids are sleeping, you're also not getting like your thoughts interrupted 24 seven either. Kind of. So it's kind of nice. You get that chance to like, I can actually process 20 minutes at a time here to like, like you said, string some things together where you can be like, Oh, cause it usually happens if you got kids, I don't know, depending on the age there, all of a sudden like, bam, it's been 10 minutes. My three-year-old has had a random thought that she needs addressed right now. She doesn't care that I'm in deep thought on something. It's like, no, it's time to be addressed. And then you got an eight-year-old like, you know what? This is, I'm really lame and bored right now. So I need to go and talk to dad and dad needs to think of something because he's got a fun personality. So I need that. And then my teenager will be like, oh man, I've got something in and I, I don't want to do this right now, but I want to talk to my dad because I'm thinking about something. So and I say that, and I shouldn't say it as a, a bad thing. I actually do love that they come to me for all those things. But when it comes to those, just you're talking about personal time, introspective, thinking about it, it's always like there's something when they're when they're up, that's just breaking your concentration a little bit. So you just don't have, I mean, I can do it. If I guess, I guess I do it in 10 minute sections, write it all down, go back to it, duh, go down, duh, come back to it, you know, and you're trying yeah. to get through it. You can try, but it just a little easier at night, I should say, is the, the way to put it. Um, so I'm looking at your type and Ashley's type and, um, your oh. NT last and Ashley's NT first. So do you outsource your problem solving to Ashley then since you have it as your fourth? Mm, interesting. I think, uh, yeah, you're right. It depends on what situation it is because <laughs> I used to, when I was, this is a good point. It's funny. We were just talking about earlier in our marriage. You hear that term. That just means there's been improvement. Is uh, that's key for improvement, by the way. If you if you have a spouse, that's what they say. That's what they're telling you. There's been improvement, or there hasn't been improvement. <laughs> it's got to get changed. So regardless, it's something's got to change that. But uh, I will say, like earlier in our marriage, I probably was outsourcing too too much of that type deal because I was just like, oh, you know, I you just just did that. Maybe just like you said, you just don't realize you're doing that all the time. So what's kind of cool by necessity too when we've had more kids that is happening less and less because it's just not possible there's not enough hours in the day for Ashley to keep doing all those things so that's why I would say what we kind of did about two years ago once I lost my uh, job through the COVID stuff I know that really kind of that was the first time I think in my life I was just like okay this got really quiet for a little while I got quiet for a lot of people but trying to find a job in that short term is kind of was kind of true I mean you can get uh, production labor jobs anywhere, but like you're, when you're trying to get for the really good ones type deal, it just takes time, you know? And there was a lot of reflection on that point in time. Cause it was just more quiet. I was home during the the day. We had some chance to like figure out. Cause then Ashley's able to tell me like, Hey, you see like during the day, like when I'm dealing with some of this is like, man, how see how this can be such a pain and stuff like that. And it's like, when you see it, just anybody you're like, yeah, you probably don't have time for this stuff. So then it, it really helped me like you know, just like focus in on like, this is something I got to kind of take over. And there are some things that we really realized that I honestly, I should have been doing this like four or five years ago. And it's kind of a sucky part to admit. So like the ST, why did I not do that? You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, that was a big one. Like, I find like, it's like, it's like completely night and day. Like we know exactly where everything's at. And not only that, we're making more money to spread our money, just sitting in places than like we're making thousands of dollars sitting in locations before that. I didn't even know I should have been taking care of that. You know mm. what I mean? It's just like that. Like, was you ever taught to somebody like, Hey, you know what? Can you doing the same thing that you're doing every day? And now at the end of the year, you're approaching like 3000 or $4,000 extra. How does that sound to you? Like, duh. Like yeah. who isn't going to be like, Oh man, why didn't I take care yeah. of that sooner? Well, because it would have been like a lot better. And, paperwork yeah. I've given to him now too, because yeah, I no. like actually through OPS, I realized, kind of yeah. well, I just realized through OPS, it was like, this is like painful for me. Like I was never, I wouldn't do the EP thing where 
I wouldn't get it done on time. So it always turned in on time, but it was like brutal. Like I'd be in a bad mood and I'm, yeah. So I just like handed yeah. a lot of stuff like that over to him, assuming right. like maybe he was opposite to me um, and that he could handle it. And he totally so like is so yes. easy going yeah. with him when it comes to like the NT problem solving solutions. What's nice is I think with his masculine TI, like he's really able to, I might like give all the options, like my NE and my TE will like be like, okay, well, what do you think of like, boom, 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 boom. And he'll be able to be like, okay, well, let's like pull like these three, because those kind of sound like they would ST work in real life. So let's, let's do those. Like that's when we're at our best, when we're at our yeah. worst, his NI will be like, none of that sounds like it works. It all sounds stupid. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's, that's the worst case scenario. Yeah. So like, I would say we still and I jump to conclusions too fast on some of that. Yeah. So then I'm like, crap. I think I get a chance to think about it later. Then I'm like, oh wait. Yeah. Maybe it that could potentially work if you like do XYZ. And then yeah. so that's what I've really been trying to work on too. There Kendrick a lot is but I just call like, like not shooting down ideas. But you're the make before. it reality guy. Yeah. Like how do you do like, that? How do you like, make it reality? Like, how do you do that? Because like dude, talk to people. People got ideas out the, out the ass. Like people just have ideas like <laughs> no, crazy. Like, me. no, no, people really do. Talk to anybody. They got ideas. Like, they'll everywhere. let you know their ideas. There's pff, glitter bombing you with ideas. Okay. Like they're everywhere. So it's just like, now you're just like, I mean, everybody looks at ourselves as just the, the most amazing view, right? We're the most amazing human being that's ever set foot no, on the planet. Because you're an IP we are, we are. So, <laughs> but then the, uh, then you just go, you're like, okay, how do we, well, we have so many ideas we need to break down. We got to kind of like find some type of triage system that's kind of like, okay. Otherwise, you have 300 of them up there and you're just like, like, oh crap, where do we start? You know, like, where do we, where do we go? So it's just like, all right, you just got to get some type of level of organization. So I've been trying to do a better job with Ashley. It's just like, okay, Ashley's idea, idea magnet 101 over here. Like she just, <laughs> they just, they just come to her. She splits them out. And now it's like, okay, Kevin, we got to pierce through some of these bad boys, but it's been really cool. Cause there's been some stuff that I've gotten better at too and get a little more patient with as you get a little older. So, and you get a chance to see that some of your own dumbass ideas don't work. So then it's like, <laughs> all right, oh man, you know, <laughs> maybe when I was thinking of more glorifying my own ideas and you're just like, nope. They uh, maybe weren't as good as I thought, you know, it's, you know, when you put that through, if you know, threw that out, is a day you throw that out to the tribe, you're like, oh man, not so good. So it, uh, just, I think a little bit of older maturity works on some of that stuff too. So. Yeah, I think, um, I think that's the good thing about your pairing is like the, in like Ashley's intuitive and your sensory. So, you know, you make things real. Well, Ashley, as you were, you know, you were hazing her just a second ago, like she has ideas, like, you know, like all over the place. And I can relate, obviously, because we're the same, me and Ashley are the same, like almost the same Nothing type. wrong with that, baby. Just keep throwing them down uh, there yeah. somewhere. Something's, yeah. you know, I've heard is something's going to stick. Something's going to work. Okay, I, exactly. so I have to point out, like, because we're both masculine T, now, mm -hmm. like, I'm, I've am i been processing this for a few days, we can, like, kind of rip on each other a little bit and not even realize it because of that masculine T. Like we just had a conversation, no kidding for date night. That was like, literally, well, that's stupid. Well, that's dumb. Don't be an idiot. Like, but then at the end of it, we're like, yeah, that, you know, that doesn't make, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. That was no, a good sure. idea. Like, you know what I mean? Like what parts but, do you piece? In the moment you're just like, oh man, so you're both robots, man. it's what you're saying. <laughs> I know. I think she's talking. Did you? One of you guys' other friends too is like, man, do you guys have some just probably vicious fights? You're probably thinking about it now. I was like, yeah, we might. I guess, I think yeah. So, yeah like not like super personal, but, right? Like because we're not no. attacking the F necessarily. Right. We're attacking right. the T, yeah. and like we're both okay with that. Like I think he's probably a little bit more right because the TI sometimes if yeah, he does have true. a really good idea that he has thought about, which was sleep last. That's not like happening all the time, but I have to be like really aware if he's thought about something and is presenting it to me, like, whoa, 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 don't shoot that down like you normally would. But because I probably put some, I like to think I put some time or <laughs> yeah. like something into it, it's just like, like well, my natural process. I have good ideas is. sometimes too. Like, hey, I've got ideas here, yeah. like in the corner, you know, like, hey, I got something. Like, how <laughs> you raise your hand. <laughs> all right, like, oh, God, <laughs> I, got, I got some piece, but actually, no, in all fairness, actually, such a sweet event. But yeah, she does listen to a lot of my, I almost, I honestly can't think of one thing she hasn't listened to from me in yeah. fairness. Like you just, she sometimes uh, all this is Ashley, just cause she's got so many, she, sometimes like, you know, it's like they heard the term suck the air out of the room, not intentionally, but they just got so many like, Oh, okay. Now I'm trying to like interject my idea. It's like, not even like, 
then you see one of hers you're like man maybe that's cooler i don't know that's just like it's just one of those things you're just it takes a little time to figure that yeah. out and it's in the right times to do that stuff and when we and we got it to it actually a big thing that's helped with us too just like this is uh like just a very simple thing is the uh going on a date night right like down simple i should have been doing that 10 years ago guess what just this last year and a half figured it out kendrick and what's it's fun about that is uh putting intentional time with that on a calendar to do it has led us to have better communication to get some of those ideas through and less having to figure out those ideas in front of kids all the time right so i think that has been like a real blessing some people take advantage of that a little bit sooner just maybe some more maturity things on there and that's kind of my part where it's just like well, again that's something too. else that me and ashley like neither didn't have to do and, and maybe it's a benefit too. A god thing so, too yeah. like it's just our oldest daughter is now getting old enough, old enough where she can now watch the other two. So we don't have to find like a freaking yeah, babysitter yeah, every time. Yeah, and, and I'd like to say this, but all this is just our family situation is Ashley doesn't really have a reliable family member to do that. And my parents are actually really good about watching them, but they do not like anything last minute. So you mm-hmm. like have to literally plan it out two and three weeks at a time. And sometimes with young, that can be a little bit tricky because things like curveballs happen. Like, it's not that you're intending to do them that way, but it's just like, crap my kid just threw up we got to cancel this day night and we want to reschedule for next week oh we can't do that next week like oh my god we already have these people and doing all this stuff so it just really would make it choppy type deal to do that but with now with amara our oldest it is so much easier We're just like hey mara are you cool with this night we got this going on here's the movie night just think you and your sisters can sit down and just have some snacks watch a movie play some video games hop on their little their little electronics because kids turn into zombie electronics sometimes but the point is when you go out on a date that's kind of nice though because then they're not like running all over the house and that's the easier time to get it done so I think that's been a real blessing yeah it's interesting that you guys said that like planning the date night was hard because I was looking at your both of your planning functions uh Ashley as feminine SI and Kevin as feminine NI so both your planning functions are like feminine so it's like it's easy to throw things out the window when you make plans, you yeah. know? So, so it's, it's good yeah. that like you guys um, yes. have, like, have you know, some place. And, you, and you try to do a good job, but at least it's not maybe our biggest strength. It's so, so hard. Well, I end up like going, okay, I have right. SI. Like SI, whether it's feminine or masculine is probably going to be a little more organized than feminine NI. Let's be honest. And so like naturally it kind of got put onto my plate. And that's okay. Like I'm the one that figured out, okay, let's do Google calendars. Let's sync it up. Yeah, let's cool. plan a year in advance. Like we did, we like put all of our main activities awesome. in January, a year yeah. in advance. We even yeah, put our it's... date nights in there. Like we did a whole bunch of stuff. So like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to use my SI. It's going to hurt, but it's going <laughs> to, but once, but using it then yeah. feels good in the long term. I even planned my kid's birthday party. So there's a yeah. lot of things that, that are already like go out smoother already. automated. Right. And like, yeah. So yeah, so I just took on same that. with the thing with the finance stuff. Like we, but then we just realized finance, we actually yeah. applied that same thing. Like man, once you start automating so many things, yeah. you're like, oh thank God, that just that. freed up some time where you can do. Because here's the thing: when you're still in a relationship, you got we got now our own relationship. We got your kids that you're growing with and developing. There's so many things in the world that are going on too. So you're just like, okay, we're there's so many balls you're trying to juggle at once. Like okay, we have to try to figure out these these balls are still important but to not dwell on these all the time or feel like we're always starting over from ground zero on them sucks. So you're just like being able to do that has been such a helper because it, because here's the thing, like people, like we still value experiences like in this world, you know what I mean? Like you value that time together. I mean, there's just, and here's the thing too, like anybody's had children, like we know our, our oldest daughters are like just turned 12, 12 years old. And that time is going by so fast. Like it's like, there is a reality like she's not going to be here in a few years you know and just we just really like every parent we've ever talked to on that side says that that is the one thing that it's either regret or something that they miss it's like it sounds Mm. yeah it sounds sad because it's it's kind of like a double negative on there but you build these relationships with these kids you've invested so much of your time into them and it's just like you, it's an emotional thing too. It's not just like, Hey, I'm a parent. I, I should be doing this, but it's just like, you really just have this pulling on your heart to do that. Kendrick. And there's just like a big, I don't mean Ashley just realized that that time clock is ticking on that. And it's just, you just don't want to lose that. And if we're 
dicking around with stupid stuff. It's just like that can now there's you can include them in stuff that you're doing, but there's other times like you just got to spend time as a family and get to do those things and just like, be intentional with the time that you're pl- like yeah, planning to do that. Okay, it is like it's just it is it matters. So like he's a glass lizard. So right, I, right, yeah, double activated F me in the bottom. Right. That's is that that's like why he was so hard to type. I yeah, like he, he would he would come across as very fe like with that fe at the bottom, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, actually, I want to ask uh, Kevin about that. So, Kevin, you, anything, you, buddy? What do you got? You have a feminine extroverted feeling. It's double activated. It's at the bottom, and uh, you were talking about time with family and kids and stuff. Um, your feeling is feminine, just like Ashley. So do you find yourself like you get emotional very easily? Like it's easy for you to cry, easy for you to- You would think that ironically from, actually I can tell, well, I should say this, I'm getting more emotional as I get older. I like, <laughs> we, we joke about this, by the way. Like now she starts crying in the movie. I'm like, Ashley, don't cry in the movie. I might cry in the movie now. It's just like, <laughs> that's a true statement, by the way. It's like, it is like, oh my gosh, you see some of those things. I, I also, uh, can I have a lot of, I just really enjoy like uh, Christian music and stuff like that too. Like we're really big Christian people. I'm sure you might already probably know all that, but just like sometimes there's, cause I just reflect on the emotional side is like, man, I just, there's sometimes, I don't know what it is about music that'll make you reflect on that. I don't know if it's just like you said, you're tapping into that, that experience a little bit more, but there's times I told Ash, I, I don't even know if I could sing Christian music sometimes just because it's like, I just reflect on like, like what Christ has done for me or what those lyrics are like, what people are relating to in those experiences and then like how those connect. <sighs> and you're just like, oh man, that's like really like, it's really important. You know what I mean? And that's where, again, where you have enough conversation, I'm in sales and stuff like that too. So you have enough conversations with people just in general, because your job and it's like, well, those are the things that you just keep coming back to that people really, people really are looking for that and searching for that a lot. So I know I'd say probably in the last five years too, me and Ashley have also become a lot more intentional about like sharing the gospel with as many people as we can. Like just, I know that people are, are when you look at like all sorts of studies, all these things they have nothing, they didn't know anything about Jesus Christ at all. You'd see how, how people just value where's my value in this world like how do I fit in here what is my purpose like how many people talk about that it's just ridiculous because they everybody the one thing we have on this this planet our time tickers up like we all know there there is a there is a day like there's a finite amount of time like it doesn't no one's going to be living infinite here okay and it's like you know that so what does that mean there's like there's this urgency I need to find my value and I want to find my purpose and I want to find it soon as I can, right? Like, cause the sooner you find it, you're going to get more fulfillment on the backside of your life, whenever that is. Right. So you're just like, you talk with enough people on this and it's just like, you understand how important that is. And I just feel like those are the things I get emotional with, with people. And I think maybe Ashley's told me like, Kevin, my God, you have like insane connections with people so mm-hmm. quickly. I don't know whether it's just people can, I can, I don't know whether people I don't know how else to describe this. I'm going to keep it very simple, but it's like people can look into your eyes and they can, they can feel like, are you there with me or are you not? Like, I think people, especially when they, especially as people get older too, like they've now lived enough life. They've seen enough fake people in their life too, where you're like, oh, they're, they can remember these experiences of people like, oh, someone said this before and they blew me off and they didn't, they didn't hardly respond the second time back on something or they can't recall details. And I don't know why I just, I think it's a God given gift too, or the Lord just gives me like this clarity on like how to connect with people. And like, for some reason I can just pierce what's really important to them really quickly. And I don't know how that relates on all our stuff. You it's were, the wiring like, that she's talking about. Like, like from our perspective, right. It and would be, I just don't want to waste that. It would be that you were wired that way. Yeah. Like by intelligent so design, weird. like that would be our perspective. Yeah. Like if I was looking through my lens, right. My Christian lens, I'd be like, well, OPS is just describing like really the, cool, yeah. the specific wiring that intelligent design would have, you know, intended to like balance, you know, the tribe. Okay. Yeah. Cause we all, we need all parts in order to create balance. Right. So, and don't you think like what he's talking about, like, he's like, I have this ability to like connect with people. I was like thinking double activated play SEFE and it's feminine FE and that masculine SE, like that ability to like really remember what they're saying. And then, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I think I'm uh, just listening to Kevin talk. I 
was getting when he was talking about like getting emotional when he's spreading the gospel and whatnot. Um, I, I I thought it was his um double feminine NF blast actually the NI yeah, sure sure and, it, it, and it's because it's double feminine it's very non threatening so when ah uh, that could be it right. Kevin, so that like, makes sense too yeah. like people feel like they can just share stuff and part, part of it too I'm not yeah I'm not like, I don't I don't use like people shared like yeah. intense things with me and I think part of it too I just like maybe it's just I don't have like a judging thing or the first thing I'm thinking is not blast out the first thought that comes to my head I maybe I do just naturally just oh, I got to process that a little bit for you like with you type deal like friends process things with you right and that's how you come alongside people and walk through life with them together you know what I mean and I don't know just I just want to mm. so you guys know like you guys it's so fun when you take this type of personality stuff it's not something I'm doing like this is my personality you guys know it's just like no it's just something you kind of just do like you don't I don't think about it I just that's just my reaction with stuff and it's not and maybe that's why I have these good connections with people and that's why I'm like these years that I do have I really want to make sure that I, I am really intentional about spreading the gospel is just because it's like there's something that's connecting different that other people aren't doing and people are sharing that with me and I don't know I just I'm just going to keep continuing to do that because I'm just you start getting that good feedback and now it's like walking those steps through people with their their journey through christ and how they can find that value find that purpose and it, it's there and it's just like you get to hear their backstory everyone's backstory is going to be a little bit different their testimony is gonna that's what matters like that's just like that testimony is very personal to them and here's the funny part like i've sat like we've all been through classes enough times with the stupid professor dude and uh with the uh God, was the PowerPoint thing. We've all done that. Been there now. These days you can decorate your power. It looks all fancy and crap, but they're just facts or something that you can learn. I can't remember if I saw a study one time, more people can relate to people's personal testimony on an emotional level. And I believe that's because like people, when we have that connection, like you can remember somebody's personal story or a detail about someone's personal story. It just sinks in and it means so much more to people. It just, it sounds kind of simplified but the reality is like it just matters like that stuff is just like how people can connect on that personal level and that's why those connections are made mm. so much deeper so i think it's faster for you because you have extra feeling people with like introvert uh, feeling like uh, me and ashley it would be we, we would have to have experienced it firsthand otherwise uh it, it would we, we wouldn't be able to connect uh right away so um i mean you know obviously if you have shared experience then yeah. no problem yeah yeah for sure yeah like right you said that's an instant yeah. connection but like you said not everyone's gonna have that like you said like right away type deal so yeah so it's 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 gonna be different per uh per person uh basis but yeah you definitely have like a superpower there as a as an ip being double activated tribe so you're not gonna get as much uh tribe hate but i do want to ask you when you were younger did you get like a lot of flack from people like did you like piss off a lot of people when you were younger you know right. I don't, maybe, hell yeah, it's, it's funny, I know you've that question, but I don't think I, let's see, I'm trying to think, I didn't really have like a lot of, I almost picture like enemies is the way they say it, but I think when I was younger too, I also was probably more agreeable, um, where it's like, and all I mean, <laughs> that is, like not agreeing. <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. I wouldn't I'm stand. Sorry, I, I wouldn't stand up brother. for this. I was just thinking of your brother. You were really um, good with your friend circle, but yeah, I feel like your true. brother kind of like has this thing. Like he brings up all the time, like the very like, um, you know, he's the oldest. But I don't know what that would have to do with type. Um, if it would be the ST thing talk, or the it? masculine TI, maybe. Oh, I'm not allowed to come in here. Yeah, what no, do you need? Anyway, I'm <laughs> okay, I will. Today. I'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah. I was just thinking your brother, like maybe would have the most. Yeah, you know no, I, mean? I can speak. Yeah, no, you're probably right. So what she's probably tying on their kinder is their like family situations. I she's right. I, I was probably right. I was probably thinking more on the friend side. Like I'd consider like high school friends and like that type of stuff where I I probably was just like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And like didn't have a lot. I wasn't very confrontational on any of that stuff through those type of items. I think she's right. Like, I think sometimes with my brother. Like, it's kind of weird because you don't know if it's like a sibling thing or what it is, but he always felt like he kind of had to be different from me or something. And I, my parents have kind of talked about that a lot too. And I don't, I will, I will say, I don't exactly a hundred percent know the reason for that. Like, like there, if there was like, maybe they just really, like, especially like my mom, like she puts like a big value importance, like, oh, it's really important that you're different, you know, and it's okay. And that type of stuff. And 
it is and it's weird i've always kind of been confused not because it was like a bad thing but it was like well that's okay i don't i don't care if he was the same with me or or if we're different what does it matter like he's his own person you know what i mean it's not like yeah that's just how i would pro- process that a little bit i'm like i love my brother just the same as i always have like and just one of those things like he hasn't reached out to hang out with me as much so i was like i you know i would i'd personally love to have a better relationship with him i've tried to reach out a few times and that type of stuff but i also know that relationships are a, a two-way thing right so it's like if if he really was putting a lot of value in that type of deal or he felt that stuff then he'd reach out to me on that and sometimes they're just like maybe they're not at a point in their life right now where they want to do that as much type of deal. i think it's getting better but you never know and he just had a, just he just had his first kid right now too so just a couple a couple of weeks old so things change as you go through different stages of life you know and i always looked at it where you know when you don't have kids for a long time, you can't relate to any of the experiences that I'm having right now, you know, where I've already got three for gosh, I got a 12 year old and he's got a two week old, you know what I mean? So you just go through more of those stages and yeah, it just takes a little time to kind of grow that connection. So your, your mom, you said that your mom was trying to promote um, difference. Like you, like she wanted you or you or your brother to be different individuals. Like, yeah, oh, well, for sure. She's she's mentioned that multiple. Actually, going to test that too. She mentioned that multiple times. Of uh, my mom, really like dialing in that we have to be different type deal, and that it's good that we're different, like that type of stuff. She knows, like, and again, there's nothing. I don't like. There's nothing like faulty with that or something. But yeah. for some reason, that's something that's really like she's emphasized before, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't, and you don't know the conversations that they're having. Um, maybe it could be some you know, this is just be me speculating here. I have no thing on that, but it's like, obviously him and my mom, my brother have had some type of conversations of maybe could be some type of comparison thing type deal. And for me and Ashley, like we would, honestly, I really don't have anything to be jealous or compared to. I, I'm honest. I'm not just like, just like, Oh no, I just, I just want to love you as a brother. And actually he'd be one of my, you know, I just put him on my target list. Like, I really want my brother to know his value in Christ. Like I, his is actually not very strong. And it's just one of those things where I've tried to have those conversations and he's just, it's very shallow ended right now. It's like the shallow end of the pool, baby. We're jumping in, but you know, we're just, it's only a foot deep, you know, just, right. and that's okay. Um, there's obviously like, something that he's just maybe either not as confident in with that yet, or he just maybe hasn't thought about it a lot too. You know, and there's just other things that people can, I call them like roadblocks, you know, he's just hitting something like that, or it just, it's, you can get around him, but he's just not at that point in his life yet where he's really wanted to address some of those things yet, you know, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's okay. People, people tell you when they're comfortable, if they know that they can trust you with a lot of those things too, you know, so. It, it sounds like uh, your mom and your brother both have introverted feelings. So it's like, um, yeah. And, yeah. And, and and it's like it's different from TI because TI like wants to be the best, but inter feeling wants to be different. So it it's from like the story that you're telling me, it's like yeah. there is like that that um conflict between like between that for you, it's like okay, as long as we all can connect, we're all friends here, we all get along, we're family, it's good enough. But for some people, it's not good enough. Um, unless that like uniqueness gets like recognized, you know, in an authentic yeah. way. Yeah, it's, it's interesting there. if I kind of think I might know what her type is just based on like just different feedback and just like a TE, like throw it at the wall. But even his dad has said, like, I'm similar to her. And I think he's not wrong. I wonder if she's like flip flop. So I wonder if she's like um, SI or no FI and then any at the bot or T at the bottom and then in the middle the any si right what would that be i oh, did I, I, infp or something or something or yeah she's got to be an ip is what i was thinking yeah like, an INFP maybe yes like maybe an infp but she's sleep first like a sleep consume oh oh the control the the the, the, the ryan gosling kind of type you know like sleep consume like fisi kind of kind yeah of. yeah yeah because i mean storytelling like so she's the best storyteller ever because of that too but um I don't know and it could be SI at the top it's kind of hard for me to see her as an IJ but I'd be open to it but either way I think she has the same functions as me but just different order yeah yeah so you can see that when you talk to her like you see like whoa this person's kind of yeah yeah me but not me 
yeah yeah like it has it has all your parts just in like mishmash you know mm. yeah and yeah. so i trigger her i really trigger her actually yeah, yeah it's 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 like a, not at all. so you got, you got to trigger her anyway <laughs> you just got the personality uh, well, right no, on like, top of it well normally it's the <laughs> other way funny, normally it's laugh. the other way around like the mother-in-law <laughs> triggers you and she did at first but like yeah. I you know whatever I'm any you, I'm you double decider stuff, right so. like so I got over it but like I still trigger her and I realize it's probably because we have similar types but in different orders and like that's just the way it is yeah and yeah. also I'm an FI, so there's that. <laughs> and she's probably savior. Yeah, yeah, that, that could be it. I mean, you know, usually opposites would get along, right? If she was like IJ-ish, then in, in your EP-ish, you would get along. Maybe. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of leaning more e IP. And she also kind of has a little more of the significance, like you said, type type thing. But yeah, and, yeah. and then the, bro the brother sounds kind of similar too. Like, yeah. Like the, the way yeah, I know they have kind of been a little little uh, team up duo over the years. I think you know it's kind of one of those things. I don't know why. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell you why. It's funny because yeah. I just always used to joke like, man, how come I was getting yelled at so much more as a kid? Seems abnormal. Still seems abnormal, but yeah. it's all right. It it is what it is. I love autumn anywhere. I just like it. Yeah. Like, sometimes I just I was like now as an older <laughs> as an older adult. You're just like there, there must be something going on behind the scenes that they don't want to share with me or I don't know 100 percent And that's okay. In time, it'll either come out or they'll just continue. Well, to we're keep both doing a it, pain guess, in the but... in, in the butt with our masculine T. So so and who knows, maybe there's some things that I do that just drives them up the wall or something, and you just, you know, you just can't handle Probably. it or something. But as people too, as they get older, they understand some of those things down. too. So yeah. Do you get along with your dad better then? Oh yeah. No, my dad's actually yeah. really awesome. So like I said, I um i'm trying to think i really have had hardly any conflicts with my dad really not really very very minimal usually it's i usually have to go talk to my dad for something ashley said to my mom or my mom said to ashley and then i have me and dad have to be the intermediaries to go through this stuff it's like true. your mom's got a problem you got to talk to your dad about this so then i have to get together with my dad we never have any arguments like ah oh, dad okay. now you gotta address this to, to go through fair. this cup to take it's like it's like pouring it through different jars I, to I get there to like talk. dear god yeah, I've tried to like, talk to her, but she doesn't, no, no, she's exactly, so no, triggered fair. by yeah. me. So I'm like, I can't talk to her. Like yeah. I just learned like the pattern. The pattern is if I go talk to her, it's triggering. Uh, and she just, she, has she gets more ups. mad. She gets yeah. more mad. But when it comes to dad through a filter, dad maybe can yeah. filter it down for her. And then she can like process it better and it's vice versa. You know, it's like, I, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you little KK. It's all right. It's our, uh, it's our youngest right here. We can hear our names being yelled at the top of the stairs here. So. Oh. It's all good. Is, is it like the classic case of like, you know, the mom thinks, oh, this your your wife is taking your baby boy, you know, which is you. <laughs> Could <laughs> be, but yeah. I, I don't think she has too much of that to be honestly, to be honestly with you. Cause I you know, I like it's more of just like, oh man, how I think it's more like if I were to put my thumb on it, it's more like how we it was the scenario of how I raised you guys versus how you're raising your kids now. That be if I was like what is different? What is, uh, what is similar? Why are you guys doing something different than like how I did it? And as you get older, you can get more set in your ways. I oh, should, you do get more set in your ways. So it's like, right. what happens is it just takes in like a lot of older people, you'll see it. And it's not like a bad thing, but it's just like, it's that fear. You're like, geez, things are just changing so fast for me. And some people can handle that better. Like you guys know, actually as your personality studies, there's certain personalities that can genuinely, it's not that everyone struggles with a little bit, like we all kind of get stuck in our ways, but there is different personalities that can kind of like adapt with it a little bit better type deal and, and understand those things too. So it's like, there might be things that really mattered to my parents growing up that that's like, they picture as like a big part of their childhood. And then we just haven't had that experience or we just don't know exactly, you know, why that is such a big thing to you guys or, you know, it's like, well, why is like, we look go stuff now. Like why is like shifting to like eating more natural foods without more GM, less GMOs, less gluten, like all like less sugar. Like, why does that trigger you guys? Like, why is like, you ever get back? You're just like, I get like, okay, maybe there was only like five food selections and you were growing up in the sixties or seventies or something, but more selection is not a bad thing. Like, isn't it good? Like, don't we want to have less of that crap in our bodies if it was possible? Like, it just like, it is one of those things that you, you can get in there and you're just like, Hey, I, I, I get, maybe it's not the same as when you were growing up, but 
we just have more information now. Like there's some stuff that we know that is not going to be great for you. We're fighting you know SI. I mean? That's what yeah. we're fighting. She has savior SI, I swear. So she has savior like, SI and so does his dad. That's what we're fighting. So I swear. It's, and it's, <laughs> so there's just certain things. I think that's where our arguments have probably come with tradition. them. It's just like tradition. Like, hey, we've done this this way. And we just think that that's probably the best, you know, and, and that's okay too bad. There's like genuinely good. It's funny. You'll notice that stuff when it falls on value-based things, that, that can be really good. Like really uniting, like, there's a lot of like grandparents that we go to our current church, whether it's older generation, younger generation, like you are bonded with our genuine passion and the value of sharing Christ. Okay. So like that is a genuine value that stretches through multiple generations. That should be a binding moment. Like, what does that mean? Like, how is that happening? Like we should be on the same page with that. There's times we are on that stuff. I'd say I get more like resistance probably from my mom for some reason out there versus my dad. Like my dad is like really enjoys the church aspect for like the social element. He's just not as strong, like on biblical, like reading through the new Testament and understand the ST part. Right. (laughs) So you're going like, okay, but his heart is in the right place. So he goes like, man, there's like a lot of value in this type of stuff. He's been doing it for a long time. His parents are into uh, like huge Christian family too. So it's like those things are, should be binding whether someone eats gluten in their bread. Wow. That's really kind of an ancillary issue right now. This is not something that should be taking up as much time, energy, and negative thought process should be going through right now. Really should be a back burner. Like that is a really, who really cares? You know, honest to goodness and let's move on. So I just like, but you know, some people just like, Hey, this is, this is what they did. That's kind of how they had it. And if they didn't have much, you know, it's just kind of like, though it can trigger those like ashley talks about they'll trigger those memories and it just pisses them off and you're like all right okay i'll just like man we'll we'll work with you on that i guess like big deal like it happens so he will he's more movable on that i'm not yeah Yeah. well it it does sound like your your mom your mom has sifi it's like that it's it's like just from both your description um um and then also like the way you're saying you're like you were saying uh just second go kevin you're like, oh, this is such a waste of time because I think you're like a, you're, you're called a double observer. So like this, this kind of stuff is like not a big deal to you. You're like, why are we wasting time on this? We should be focusing on relationship, you know, in, instead of yeah. like, oh. shocker. I, I got, I got news for you. <laughs> I can't drink if you start talking about other people eat gluten in their bread. Hey, it's a nice little detail. Not going to be a big, like show stopping topic every time you talk with people. All right. It's just not, I mean, you may want it to be there, but it's just, uh, it, that's, that's, that's not going to, that's not going to be one that moves them. I'm going to tell you that right now, but it's, it's, it might be a little part of their life, which is cool, but not be well, all in. So. I, I think, I think like for your archetype, like the IP, then the answer would be no. But if you put a bunch of like, observers in the room so like let's say me ashley and like a bunch of like ijs and stuff yeah we, we, we could talk about this all day and yes. that, it, then it, we would we, we would we would rather be talking about this in relationships actually which is kind of weird you know but like yeah it's it's, it's a weird thing so oh uh, it's, it's all right i shouldn't i i you're right I, sh- I shouldn't put it down but i'm just saying like big picture wise you guys know what i'm saying though you guys are able to still step back you have fun in the moment and talk about all these things yeah i will talk to ashley like, hey what did you talk about with your friends oh i don't even know there was just so much we were talking about and you're just yeah. like oh okay all right all that's, the things, you know, all the things. It's just like i don't yeah. know it's just like i mean maybe we talked about our nails for a half hour maybe we talked about you know something our crazy nails, you know like, really you know so i don't know like, you know what coffee they drank or something i have no idea they just go oh my gosh stuff. how about like i'm obsessed with ops come on yeah that too um, I was like, she'll, she'll, like ashley too. just like ashley is so funny like she'll just try Cognitive to interject punches. it into her in her friend's conversation she just wants to bring her friends along with her you know just like okay i'm into this bring them into the circle yeah. baby because i want to hang out and talk that's right the circle of trust because <laughs> it doesn't have squares and it doesn't get boxed in a corner you just include everybody in the circle. All right. It's a very millennial thing. All right. But to the, uh, the, uh, but it is, he just tries to do it <laughs> for, uh, that's for Are you making shit up though? <laughs> okay. 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 okay, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, missed that one. Okay. I, butchered, and I butchered it anyway. You guys are like, wait, did he, is that from a, like an Adam Sandler movie? Like it was. So you're like, yeah, it was. So uh, yeah. You switched movie references I, on me. I did. You're just like, you probably haven't seen it. Yeah. I, I think I think I I see how you got typed as an ISTP consume play blast lead now, because yeah. like because you have no breaks compared to like um 
like um like like it's on the truck go right off the rails baby we're banging against it we're having a blast as we go through there we're gonna figure it out so yeah because 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 me and ashley are 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 also sleep blasts like you but we're tribe above self so Mm -hmm. we have breaks when it comes to to this stuff but you you have no breaks so it's like that's like an ip thing like even like um, I went to a meetup with um, Dave and Chan, and there was like an ENFP girl. Name drop it again, Bobby. I like it, Kendrick. All right. Dave and, and then, Chan. Uh, I love it. Keep going. Yeah. No so, you Chan. Go ahead. so like, there was like this this girl. I interviewed her actually in, in my channel already. And uh, she she was like the most inter- extrovert person there. But like technically, if you look at like the, the animal, I should be the most extroverted because I'm the most extrovert type. But she was the most extroverted because she was self above tribe, right? So she had no break. She just went freaking crazy. And, uh, you know, she'll probably laugh if she saw this video because, like, you know, because it's true. Uh, but, yeah, so it's like for you, it's like, yeah, when you're using your play, you don't stop. It's like a machine, you know? And oh, uh, no topics, buddy. We, we can get through them. Well, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. I'm an easy interview, I guess, right? You don't have to feel like yeah, you're no, it's, it's, a lot of people. It's, you could be like, I think, Kevin, I need three questions, and that'll last us. <laughs> Full hour right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even have to contribute, you know. No, no, that's the good thing about you is that you do yeah. make the, my job easier because like sometimes I'm talking to someone that's like really quiet oh, and I'm God, like more of my feel for you. <laughs> like because you guys are like your personality wise, and then someone yeah. And they end like also like they give you like a one sentence thing. You're like, yeah, okay. I guess we I'm like, dude, we gotta fill one hour lot. here. Can you can yeah, you right, tell yeah, me right out. Like, <laughs> I'm only, I'm only five minutes in and I got 55 minutes to fill. Oh, dear God. What am I going to do with this Yeah, you know, burnt piece yeah. of toast? You know, it's like, oh, geez. It's, it's like, so, so, so oh. on that note, like similar related, like yeah. I t- we have a pastor oh, friend who just kind of geeks out like I do about personality, but he doesn't know OPS. But anyway, I was telling him, I was like, oh yeah, we got Kevin actually tight, like professionally tight. He's an ISTP. And he was like, no way, not even. I'm like, so I explained it to him. And he was like, okay, okay. And I'm like, trust me, just trust me. But I'm like, if you look at the cognitive functions, he's not, he's not what he tests. He like usually would test like an FE lead is what he would test as. Yeah. I mean, I I would, I would probably mistake. Like if I didn't know about OPS, Kevin would does come across as an ENFJ. So I I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But but, uh, but you know all those acronyms because he seems mean, more you know extroverted. I mean, yeah. He seems more extroverted around people than yeah. even myself. Yeah. Oh, he is actually Kevin is extroverted. What's that? Kevin is extroverted. He's yes. like, yeah. 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 Because it's funny, she brought it the other day too. Is like what we were talking about where I come home from work after I've been doing this for eight, nine hours a day, 10 hours a day. And I come home and I'd be like, oh my God. I'm like, like take the air out of the balloon, right? Like, you know, it's just like, how is that possible? People don't believe it. It's like, you're just shot, you know, and just that's sometimes going through all that stuff. You're, and yeah, I schedule the play dates, right? But like, I do get energized doing these things. Does, I can do does, this stuff all day, man. Like, you people, could, but he's not going to go do it. He's not going to go like take his time. He's going to be like, okay, Ashley did it. I'm down for it because I love to extrovert, but I, he mm. wouldn't. I don't even know what you would do. Like maybe not being married. You'd probably do like your sports stuff and your work and then you would consume. That's what he would do. He would like, this is my one thing. This is my work. And then consume. Cause that's what you were doing when we met. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd have to, that'd be kind of maybe a struggle for me at first. Cause she's right. Mm-hmm. I'd have to like, crap, I gotta start planning to do some yeah. of my events again. Now, like, obviously now, now that I, now that I, bet we've been in this, we've been in Wilmer and stuff for like a while. And so now I have those like that infrastructure in place, but yeah. Before, if we were just like showing up to a new place, you're just like, oh crap, I got to find new things and I got to get my ass out of the house to go do those things, you know, at first, you know, and it's just so easy to be like, oh, I'm going to sit down and take a load off right now. But you can't do that if you want to really like make a difference. So um, I, I, I want to ask you about uh, both both of your, your first um, animal. So you both are interesting in the sense because you're um kevin you're double masculine st so that means like when it comes to like consuming facts you're like super aggressive when it comes to it and then and then ashley is like double masculine nt so problem solving so both of you somehow have a double masculine first animal which is (laughs) weird like does does that cause like headbutting between you guys with like you're you're both double masculine on the front end Mm -hmm. you know or 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 is that something that like not really because it's still not exactly. Oh yeah, no, that's that's our argument. That's what I was talking about. Like when we're at our worst is the whole, like when we're talking about problem solving and the reality, mm-hmm. like make it a reality. I literally didn't talk to Kevin for like six hours. 
at, on a car drive one time because he was STing me and I was NTing him. Like that's literally what was happening because I was like, well, it's just an idea. Like I just have these three ideas. And he was like this one, he hated this one idea it because one. it was, it was bad, yeah. because it wouldn't ST make sense in comparison to the other ideas. Well, I'm like, well, don't throw it out yet. And I was like, so offended uh-huh. because it was that double masking, like against each other. He wouldn't drop it. I wouldn't drop it. So we had to not talk. <laughs> okay, I had to not talk. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I like how you're pointing to her. To her. <laughs> He's like, I wouldn't have done that. Whatever. He, you've you've done it too. I, I'm, I'm sure I have. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it just yeah. But that's where it is. That's where that's the intensity. It's so true. The intensity is that that first animal. If I'm play and teeing mm-hmm. and or and then he mm-hmm. wants it to be. Again, it's, and it's also a little bit of that feminine N too. If he does use the ST to go to the N and narrow down and go, that's a really shitty idea. Then there's no really talking him out of it being a shitty idea. And I think that's what was happening there is the ST going into the N maybe. There's kind of a balance too, because like you said, there's sometimes like in the past, I've let some of Ashley's really bad ideas really keep percolating. And then she's like, oh, you must be interested in them. So you're like, oh. No, I'm actually not at all. Yeah, I was just trying true. to be, I was just trying to be polite to yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. So then it's like, so you have to strike that like balance. Like you went along like, to, to like play along. along. And so then, and it's then it like, blew up. So I'm like, okay, so now I'd rather, you know, take a, well, I wouldn't, I think six hours is an extreme. It sucked <laughs> that particular trip, but put it on my that's own true. podcast that's and it. listen that's to it. it. But the, but in theory is just like, okay, I, I got to listen to it, but. I don't want to like really sound if something just is really not realistic or is like a good one. Cause then it's like, Oh, do you think that could work? Mm, no, I actually don't think that can work at all, but I don't want to shoot it. If I shoot down too fast, then I get in really big trouble. So I have to like play <laughs> like, it's not to be mean. It's like, just like, okay. I just, because there, there might be some parts that are good. So then you're just like, okay, maybe what are some things that are like, you just kind of like with Ashley, you're like, okay, so we're not, <laughs> We're not going to set up this camper in the woods in like this location. Like, that don't get me wrong. What I, said. Said. I know, but it was like, <laughs> it was the justice starting point of it. And you're like, oh no, like it's just, I mean, it's just not going to be Buy a, a plot of land us. and live in an RV and save up money so that you can I build. Know, I know. And none of those things. He doesn't like, like it. Yeah. It's fine. And I'm yeah. over it now. I had six hours to process. She, had, she, she processed it well. She came around. <laughs> so there's, some, there's some stuff. Why you just like, honey, you don't like really love any of those things. So it's just like, okay. But the, uh, <laughs> it's just like you know you know somebody you're like hey you know that whole time we've you know been married the last like 10 years you know the one thing you've always never told me what we don't do enough <laughs> camping it's like you know it's like because you don't like this stuff. you're like you're not like a super like hey you know what i can't do get dirty have have my kids like really just grind it out the same what? trashy camping clothes you're like oh my god yeah like you're just like camping like for two days but not multiple years of living in a camper like i get it like huge difference here that's what i was like trying to like we're like okay like camper idea great all that, great a, a weekend great two years in a camper bad like that's just not gonna like that's just like not gonna mix it like eventually that's just not gonna work you know like you're just like wow and the whole time it's not a not a shot good idea like okay getting a plot of land planning that out awesome part of the idea sticking a dirty camper on that piece of land with no Why plan is it a dirty camper no. it's not gonna be nice <laughs> it's gonna be dirty and it's gonna be cheap all right because that's if you're gonna if you're gonna go hillbilly style you go Whatever. all in on the hillbilly okay. and you just got a dirty yeah. crappy man or camper out there so you keep your expenses low they depreciate in value the second you drive them off mm-hmm. there you buy the dirtiest chunky cheapy one you can find all right so all right um, I have two last questions for you, Kevin. But before that, I just want to make a comment that it seems like you know Ashley really well, especially her double feminine SF sleep. So that means like what she likes changes so fast. So like you, that's why you 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 saw that with your Effie. You're like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I obviously, you know, like you you saw it like. <laughs> Tells me about you can get along with me too. I just I just figure out that, I figure it out quick, you know, like, or just work with somebody. Like, oh man, I, I like exactly it. she knows. Like, okay, I got called out. It's true, you know. Like, you know, <laughs> it's I, I, like I got called. It's true. But, uh, so okay. okay, no, okay we have a fun time with it because it is fun though too. Yeah, so yeah. it's right. Yeah. Uh, last right. question. So first one is, what does your sleep last crash look like when you're like dead exhausted from like doing too much things and not like. Resting. Uh, I'd like? probably say it's probably 
I don't know if you know, we have three daughters. So it's probably just dealing with a whole lot of, like, there's, there can be like a lot of issues going on, you know, and, and it, all age related, three-year-old, three-year-old issues. You're going to be, when it was the other day, I mean, just ticked off because I'm trying to think what Carmody had the other day where just, she was mad. Like we just took a oh, toy or something and just like, that was it. That was too much. Now it sounds simple in theory, but man, after you get done dealing with a toddler at the top of her lungs for a half hour, they're pissed off. You're exhausted. Then you add on the eight-year-old then the 12-year-old and the, the mom too. So it's like, for me, <laughs> the baby, I, like all of them, like all of them, it's just like things go off the rails so fast. So then it's like, all you can do, but they're such cutie pants. So you're just like, okay, I got to work with you guys. And we got to try to figure out some type of solution. You guys are like the greatest sweethearts ever. How do we do this? And I'm exhausted. So if you're asking me there, again, how, what are some of those exhausting days? You're usually just like, there's a lot of emotional things going on. We're just trying to figure those out. Another one too, I can say oh, something. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, what happens to you? Like, are, do you like pass out from the exhaustion or like what happens? I to think you? so. Yeah, pretty much. You can say like, why does Kevin look completely discombobulated on the bed right now? Yeah, that's probably, or the bed or the couch. Yeah, that might be me. Like, I just need some time to gather my thoughts because I'm exhausted yeah. or, I, or I might just have a headache He'll go to be in. honest with He'll you. Go in. I do. I'll get like He'll a headache into his head and he will. Oh just God. Not, so done. He won't be able to process anything. I, just, I will be done. Yep. I'm like, do. yep. I need, I need some YouTube and some sports channels right now. Daddy needs like a little bit, like at least give me 15 yeah. minutes to pass out here or try to re fire up the engine because it just, it's, it's toast. You know what I mean? So I, that can be a long day. Yeah, the fuse has burnt out. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah right. That's yeah. why I put it. Yeah, just like you're like, okay, now I got two options: recharge this bad boy up, or just crash it out. So it mm -hmm. it depends. All right, uh, last question is in regards to your sexual modalities, your kinest your audio kinesthetic. Um, are, are you locked into something that you said earlier about like um listening to um church music and yeah. you said that it makes you really emotional just listening to it. So it's even hard for yeah, me to. Yeah. So Depending I was wondering that. that's your, like your, you being auditory and like having a lot of memory yeah. attached to like music and sounds that you hear and like being very sensitive to music in general. And yeah. then uh, you're also kinesthetic. So you, I guess sports, like Ashley was saying earlier, like you are into sports. So like, yeah. um, are you good at like doing things with your hand, like, you know, playing different sports and picking them up? Yeah. Really so can you For talk sure. about like being audio and kinesthetic? Yeah, no, like you said, I know actually it's funny. Ashley's right. Like I, I run, I do a white collar job, but I know I could actually dash about I probably would be better off potentially doing a blue collar job just because like, even when I was working at FedEx, when I lost the job, that job, like you can run around all day and hard. And I just can't, I'd be physically tired for like the first half hour when and I got back to deal. But then all of a sudden it's like, man, wasn't that like a great day? Like that was all we knocked out so much. And it was a blast, you know? So some of those physical jobs, I don't think I would actually have as big a problem on them. It's just, you know, once I figured them out and what I was doing a little bit and you get that confidence rolling, it's cool. Like you're just, I'd probably be really good in something like that. Um, just have just not naturally gravi gravitated towards those fields. I don't know why I, part of it too, is it, it's just sometimes it's hard to make a lot of money in some of those fields. I know it sounds kind of shallow, but it, it's really hard. You have to find these like really unique niches to do that and stuff like that. So it's like, it's, it can be done and you can do really well with them, but you do got to lend sometimes too, depending what they are. As I'm thinking like some well, of like, when like you, you do said, like, something once when you yeah, do something I get this once, confidence with it. I just you get crazy. confident yeah. and you remember how to do it. I know yeah, it is. Like so, and that's maybe like when you're saying this, like the sports stuff, I just, I figured out, I kind of like, you know, so sometimes I can obsess on some of those things. I can get really good at them. Mm -hmm. Weird part. I liked golf, but I've never been really been able to pick it up and get good at it yet. So it kind of pisses me off a little bit. So yeah, I, I just have it really as much fun. Yeah. yeah. Like usually yeah. I normally can figure those things out and, mm -hmm. and do it. And you're just like, got it. Boom. Let's yeah, do the, the golf, do golf is like an SI thing. Like Tiger Woods. Is I was it's weird. Yeah. No, cause it's really not about like, it just, there's just a lot of factors and some real mental things sometimes. And you're yeah. just like, what the hell? Like Tiger Woods know. is like SISTJ, right? So it's like, yeah, it's an S yeah. Golf is like, it's not for, for, for you. I think you, you would be better off with like, like football or like oh, basketball. Love it. Give me that baby. That's where that's all day. Basketball was my thing, yeah. dude. That was, was awesome. And that tennis. Sport too. tennis. Love tennis. You just, you just run back and forth. You're just ripping that thing all the time. You're just like, this is, you don't, have, you don't have too much time to think, Swim. you know? Yeah. And, and you're, you're an IP too, which is perfect. Tennis is like a single person sport, right? So it's like, yeah, well, you can do either There's singles or doubles. I mean, it just depends. Like you can yeah. have fun with it. And those things are just the best. Like you give me that. 
That's awesome. That's yeah. I'm that stuff too. So. Or, or like the new thing. I don't know if you watch UFC, but like the MMA, like that's like a yeah. In fair, in fairness, UFC is kind of violent type deal sometimes. So I was kind of like <laughs> I'm careful, like because I myself like, oh man, do I really want to see someone just getting the like the living crap kicked out of them? Yeah. Sometimes it's you know it is aggressive all that stuff, but there's other I times I'm not. like, yeah, like oh man, did that happen? Like. Yeah, I barely got to beat up some more people or something like that. Just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. oh, so awesome. You know, it's like, okay, but it's like, that's not my, uh, like I said, I haven't traditionally gravitated to that sport as much, but I do love football. So it just seems I just like thought it's it was because, uh, like, all the best UFC fighters are your type. Like, all the champions are your type. So, are you serious? No, no, I'm I would, not. They, they, all the ones with the belts and stuff, they, they're your type. Like, I, that is really funny. Like, that is that is hilarious. So, actually, I should have been here. <laughs> and part of it, though, I do get it is like, it, it must have to do like, because you watch those guys actually do win that stuff. There is a lot of physical stuff to it, but a lot of them are actually really smart. Like, you know, the winning guy that, like you said, that actually win are really technically very good they practice like the moves and stuff that win the matches you know what i mean and they set they're able to like like you said last in the ring and do all that stuff and it's really hard because you think in the moment you're fighting another human being so it sounds like it's really hard because you have so much emotion so much physical stuff going on but they're able almost like slow it down you know what i mean and then they're just like i have to do this move when he does x and then boom they execute right when they they do it and that's how they're able to pin someone down or win or what they got to do, you know? I, I think at high level, th- then it becomes more mental than physical, but like- Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In a weird way, because it's such a physical sport, right? Like it's a weird like, thing, but it really is, you know? Because it becomes like chess. Like I was, because I watch them fight and they're, they're trying to outsmart each other. The, there's the, the only exception to the rule is this one guy that fights. He's from Russia and he, I think he's an ISCJ. And um, let me see. You got to watch him already. He's a dirty Russian. So you already know, like you just yeah. got yeah. to see that. right now these days. I remember growing up in like the, the Rocky days, right? It was always the dirty Russian oh, guy. Oh, right, oh, right, right. Problem. Throwing the cheap shots, like throwing dirty stuff out there. Okay, okay. Well, this, this Russian was special because he's been wrestling with bears, actual bears when he was a kid. Yeah, see, they always what? do crazy stuff. Like, like what, yeah, what are the Russians? Like a real bear. Like there's a footage of him wrestling a bear when he was like a kid. So yeah. he doesn't train with humans. He trains with animals. And obviously you're not going to beat him in, in a fight because he's fought bears. You've only fought humans, you know, like. <laughs> if you're fighting a bear, it's a whole nother level yeah. of fight, baby. I, just, I imagine like that's got to be tough. Bear he's matters. Still... It's not a grizzly. He's not taking on a grizzly at that point. He's got to be taking on like a black bear or something that's a little smaller. Yeah, yeah maybe. But I think, the... too, you see the video of the guy fighting the kangaroo the other day? That was really funny. I don't know if you Australian, get you. Australian guy. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? All of a sudden, he gets out of his truck. He's like, oh, man, Big Roo, you're barking at my dog, trying to punch it, and now I'm going to punch you. And then the kangaroo, yeah. boom, 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 starts punching yeah. him. And he got her down, though. He was able to punch the kangaroo back. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, the kangaroo just looks confused after he got punched in the face. He was like... Well, then the guy kind of technically cheated. He took a stick in our, a branch or something and hit the kangaroo in the face. And I think cheated. that caught the Roo a little bit off. Like, all of a yeah. sudden, Roo was like, man. I don't, well, that's, I don't know. I sounded Jamaican when I was going to say it. I was trying yeah. to sound Australian for the kangaroo. Like, hey, mate, like, don't do that again, you know, or something. But right. that wasn't now. Yeah, Kirk L. Dundee. But that's the, uh, yeah, I was surprised at that. So that was kind of a good video. I'm like, that's how you get your practice in going against a kangaroo. I feel like that'll mess you up. That'll toughen you up real quick, you know, right. so. And then uh, the last part of the the thing, yeah. sexual modality was the auditory. Like, were, did you ever play instruments or like sing and stuff or like? Did not. I actually, I did enjoy singing and doing some of that stuff. I like it now, but not, like you said, not where I, part of it too, I just never focused on the instrument stuff because the sports is so much more intense. So yeah. once you start doing like traveling sports and high aggressive varsity sports and that stuff, you're just kind of like, and I've just never picked up that skill, I guess, since we Yeah, because like- uh, high school, I guess I just never really like, actively pursued it because when I was younger I kind of struggled like uh our oldest daughter does a little bit too it's like I don't I wouldn't have taken it serious enough to mm-hmm. like study the music and do it all in there I probably could have but I just wasn't mature enough to probably take that I probably could do that easier now yeah um maybe and that could be something too where I look at like that might be something I pursue if my daughters get a little bit older type deal just because right now there's just a lot of other stuff going on and it's just like how much time do I have to keep developing that skill right now versus the time we really have and where we're needed and what we got to build and stuff like that. So do you feel like that's like um, an untapped potential, an untapped potential possibly? Could. Like, yeah, for I sure. I mean, maybe like yeah. um, vocally, like he could, like I'm a singer. Um, 
And yeah. I thought about that. I was like, hmm, maybe I could do some like vocal lessons for him, like with him. It would be kind of fun to like yeah. do something like that. But again, I don't know how mm-hmm. interested he is in that. Like to like t- yeah, to take that full undertaking on yeah. would be is a lot. So there's uh there's rappers that are your type too that are really good. So you know. Oh. I know I love your confidence in me. Do not have that type of rapping ability, baby. So pull, you're going to probably dial that back, Kendrick. I don't know what uh, I could what see I that, though, that because, now. again, if you can just keep going. Oh, yeah, that would. Yeah, yeah. You can do some Christian rap, man. Like you could. Oh, I, I'm sure there's a lot. Of, there's a big market. calling for Christian rap right now. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a, a, new, a, a new niche. Yeah, you're, you're, it's yeah, a niche, yeah. baby. That's, that's where we're at. So I, by the way, I totally forgot to ask you. Are you on like East Coast, West Coast, Central? Where are you, where are you out of? I'm in the West Coast. I'm in uh, Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, Canada. That's awesome. You're a Canuck land right there. You big hockey fan? No, I hate hockey. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. You're like, Kevin, I could, I could never put on. No, I, everyone loves it except for me. I'm like the anti-FE, you know? Like, I just, All right. So, hey, what's there to do in Vancouver uh, besides uh, the hockey then? Because I know it's such a big thing. Do people go out and hang out on the ocean and stuff like that then a lot in Vancouver? It's- it's it's a hiking city so yeah you know, we have so many trails we have a beach too so what some yep. people do in the summer is they'll hike and they go to the beach after which is pretty cool um yeah for sure because you guys then, got like again you're gonna have like grizzly bears in british columbia and you got all the orcas and all that stuff all, off the coast yeah. and everything it's pretty cool right yeah we, we have a lot of um attacks like coyote attacks too like here and like uh and, coyotes uh, didn't see that one coming coyotes are kind of sissies but yeah you just no well, it, it, if you got to like, toughen up a little bit there, Kendrick, all right? Because coyote attacks, you got to let them know who's boss, all right? Like, okay. I, the coyote's kind of okay. like small little so dog. But if it's a mountain lion attacked, grizzly, cut you some people, slack, buddy. You know, but getting attacked by the coyotes, they're all like doing yoga in the park. So I don't know if like that's like that's like a safety attacking. And there's no offense. Did to not me. everything you just said there did not see any of that coming out of your vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> yoga in the park, getting attacked by coyotes. It feels yeah. like it's an SNL skit or something like that, right there. It just doesn't yeah. seem like oh, coming out of nowhere. It's it's all right, baby. But I I trust you because you just got a good vibe to you. I feel like if there's a, a coyote <laughs> problem in Vancouver. We got to get someone addressed on that. We got to get some hunting. We got to get some hunting traps set here, right? We can't have coyotes attacking people while they're trying to do yoga. That just seems like <laughs> that's, not in the park. No. <laughs> that's not not in the park. That's a, that's a safe space. All right, that should be. I, what think, the, what I think the last thing is also the food scene here is amazing. Like we have the best. Mm-hmm. Like we have like every combination of like seafood. You're gonna get all the steak. You got everything up there, baby. You're you're, you're in a good spot, right? Is there a lot of tech stuff up in Vancouver and all that jazz too? The, uh, tech stuff. Um, yeah, like Seattle and uh, California and some of that. Well, Seattle is Amazon. We we have Amazon here too in Vancouver and Microsoft and Google and but Google's in the West East Coast, so um, it does. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, Kevin. Uh, thanks for coming out and doing this interview, and thanks for Ashley for uh you know filling in the blanks, you know, because uh you're the one who drag obviously drag Kevin to this thing. So, <laughs> so it's oh, it's all right. She's a cutie pants. Well, we, we, uh, you, you got, if you're not listening to your wife and she's not dragging you somewhere, then you're not doing something right. So that's yeah. all right. Hey, you know, that's a good problem to have, right? Cause like, I, I, you know, you're obviously your wife wants you to be around. You know, so it's a good exactly. Thing. No, she wants me around all the time. So it's all, so I'm doing something right on that side. And I know yeah. I'm really blessed. To, I know I, we have so much fun like teasing that stuff, but I know like I said, we're really blessed and have been, our, we've been really working on our marriage for a lot for the last 10 years. So I know we're coming up on our 10 year anniversary. We've been together almost 12, but wow, it's, <laughs> It's really cool. So I, I just tell people that you'll get a lot of, are you married? I didn't even ask if you were. No, I'm not. I have a girlfriend. We've been together for nine years. So. Oh, why haven't you asked her to get married yet? Yeah. Hey, he can't say that. You're not supposed to say oh, you're that. Not supposed to say that? You do it, that. buddy. You just go do it. You're Kendrick, baby. You live in Vancouver and you attack grizzlies and you, you're going to hunt coyotes. All right. Trust me. There's, if there's anybody who can handle it, it's you. You go ask her because you're a baller. You just show You're like, you know what? I, I talked to Kevin. You show you who the hell is that? You're like, he said, I got to get out. I got to get a sweet ring for you, baby. All right. That's what you're going to do. All right. That's going to be awesome. So I just, you should do it. If she told her she's a total sweetheart, you should definitely do it. You know, it's going to be awesome. You'll never regret it. You know, so uh, I you can't encourage that stuff more. Now you're like, oh crap. Now I got to hit the stop button before Kevin gets going too I much. Gotta, and then he has you a whole bunch of personal it. questions. Like, dang, I don't want that in recording, Kevin. <laughs> you know, like get it out there. It's all, it's all right. But go ahead. I, I just like how Ashley was like, no, you can't say it. You can't say that because like you're attacking the FI, you know, it's like, so- oh, man. No, you're yeah, all right. she, she got it. But, but anyways, yeah. all right. See you guys around. Thanks, Kendrick. Okay, Bye. Then.